hello guys i just want to make a quick video really uh fast before i have to uh get my workout in really quick and then run away back to work because i took a little bit of breaks so i can show you guys kind of do this stuff um and so i can feel awesome today so uh really quick you want a tape measure <laughs> you want to be measuring not on this side but the big side this side yeah for your inches don't laugh at me because sometimes I have people actually ask me that. So, um, and if you were wondering that yourself, it's totally okay. Oh man, I got some crazy ass hair. <laughs> uh, all right guys. So I want to go ahead and do a little quickness to show you guys how I measure my body just so that way you guys can go ahead and rock out and be able to do this on your own. Um, I usually do this in the bathroom because then I can see my reflection kind of like what I see now with this video. Um, so I thought I'd start off to show you guys that usually, uh, let me back up for a little bit. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Whenever I do my measurements to kind of like track my progress, I always do my right thigh, left thigh, right arm, left arm, my hips, my waist, and then my boob area right over here because your boobs are going to change <laughs> the more you work out. I promise you that. <laughs> Usually boobs are the first ones to go and you're like, no, <laughs> but it's totally okay. All right, really quick, just to show you guys, and this kind of goes for your arms and your legs whenever you're doing measurements. I'm gonna try to zoom in and show you guys how I do this on my legs. Um, and you're gonna apply the same kind of thing to do with your arms. So usually, to uh, measure like your thighs right here, you grab your little inch area side, you start off at the top of your leg, and then I pretty much go to my knee, right? So mine's probably about 12 right there from the top of my knee. And I can feel my little knee bone right there and then right up here at the top of my thigh. So uh, I'm 12 inches, so 12 divided by 2, which would be the halfway point of my thigh right here, is going to be 6. So right here is 6. So I'm just going to pretty much just take this beast and wrap it around my thigh. Hold on a second. Got to get a better grip. Whoa! All right. I am 6. 6 is right here. I'm locking my eyeball on that spot. You can just wrap around your leg, and then you can check in the mirror whether or not it's straight. Looks pretty straight to me. And then you pretty much just wanna have it like relaxed, and then just see where your tab ends. That's, let me see it right there. Yep, right there, all right. So it's pretty much my thigh right there. Uh, it's nice and straight. I have my little tab right over here. What you don't want to do is this. Oops. <laughs> you don't want to break the little tip from your tape measure either. But what I'm trying to show you, I'm just going to show you on here. Let's say you have it wrapped around your thigh. You see right there, you can see the little indentation right here on the side. Don't tighten it up. Just relax when you have it around your legs so that we can get an accurate measurement. So pretty much, you're going to apply the same thing to your arm, right? Like when you're measuring your arm. Oh my God, I feel like I'm all boob today. <laughs> I'm having issues. Ah! So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing to your, to your arm to like measure your arm. And don't mind me. I usually. That is going to be right here. Probably use a piece of tape too. So I'm at an eight. Four is right here on the middle part. So I'm at four. Need to get this around my arm right here. My left arm is at a 15. So well, look at that. I lied to you. It's not always the easiest to do, but once you get the hang of it. Oh, my, my arm is still 15. So I guess I didn't really lie that much because it was straight and it was still 15. So my left leg is 15. So I pretty much your bicep from the top of your arm, I usually go from like right where my armpit is to go across, to go down, and then on the thigh, the top of it to the top of the knee, and then divide it by two. And then you know where in the middle of your arm you need to go to measure it, and where in the middle of your thigh you need to go to measure it as well, because you want the biggest part of it, right, so that we can kind of like measure what's going on and, and have like the same consistent spot to like measure so you can track your progress like that. Um, I can't highly recommend more than ever to do your inches because that's going to tell you a lot of things that are going on as well as your pictures whenever you guys are measuring progress because if you just go based off a of scale i'm going to tell you that you're going to drive yourself freaking crazy because the scale is so like 
up and down and like drama and crazy because one day you can be like bloated from maybe not drinking enough water, eating something that has like a bunch of salt in it or whatever's going on in your body with hormones and stuff like that. So, I mean, scale is fine, but it's not the best. Like there's been a bunch of times whenever I've done like measurements and like workouts and stuff like that. And then I go to like measure myself a week later and I haven't taken a picture. And then I'm like angry about it. Cause I'm like, what the fuck? How did I just gain a million like pounds more compared to last week? And then it's like, well, if I look at pictures from today, from a week ago, I look awesome. So it's like, fuck that guy. All right. So we got the arm, arm to the center of your elbow, top of your leg down to your knee. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do the booby part. All right. I'll show you. Usually what I do to measure the booby part is try to keep it going aligned with the, your bra strap. Man, I'm having the hardest time today. I'm all jacked up on Energize, I think. And you want to go kind of across the nipple area. But you can kind of see sideways right here. Like it's nice and straight and stuff like that. And it's going across the nipple area. And then you can usually measure that way. And then with your hips, when you are measuring your hips, when I dip, you dip, we dip. You can go sideways. I know it's gonna look weird because of my shirt, but you wanna include that booty, because that booty's gonna change you guys. And then you just go across like a belt. So you straighten up, there we go. Da da da! So, recap. Top of leg, knee. Hips around, including your booty. Your waist is super easy. You can do the same thing where you just go around your waist and then just check sideways. With your, with your booby part, go around and follow your bra line and then go across the nipple area. Arms from around the armpit area here down to where your elbow is going to crease. So that's where I usually measure. Um, I do both of my legs and I do both of my arms because especially when you're doing things with like weight training and stuff like that, you are going to notice a difference. And then um, if you are like right-handed or left-handed, you're going to probably notice that more than likely it's not uncommon for you to have a bigger arm for your more dominant one, whether it's like an inch or half an inch or whatever, because like you use it more, I guess. Right. Um, so I just want to kind of throw together this quick video. I'm sorry for being all jacked up all over the place. And then like funny enough, breaking my shit <laughs> with this little guy. Maybe I can fix him at work. Um, I don't know if I care, but I'll probably try to fix him just because I don't want it to be all ghetto looking. Um, but I thought I'd throw this together and hopefully it's going to be helpful. Um, maybe I can find a little chart or something that I can like post in the group um, if you guys want me to so that we can see like a little visual thing um, to write down right leg, left leg, right arm, left arm, hips, waist, and I don't know, I just call it boobs right now because <laughs> that shit changes. I'm telling you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and run away. And I hope you have an awesome day. Keep kicking butt. Take your pictures. Take the measurements. Those will be your two biggest allies in like for you see your progress. If you guys just go off the scale, you are going to have some internal struggles. I'm telling you, best thing you can do because then you got proof for your eyeballs and you see like what's going on that like your work is paying off. I promise you. All right, guys. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.